Once Upon a Piece of Paper, A Visual Guide to Collage Making by Andrea Daquino. And this is a pretty cool uh, book because it comes with like a, a paperback book that is filled with suggestions and ideas for making art, but it also has uh, 52 sided sheets of unique collage papers. So it's kind of like a little uh, activity combined with uh, instruction book. So I'll go ahead and open it. And I, first I want to take a look at the collage papers that are included because they're just really cool. I love these collage papers. They have like just all kinds of themes, all kinds of backgrounds, and I'm going to so much enjoy working with this. I know I will. It's just, it's awesome. I love all of these papers and I think I'll be able to create some really cool, unique collages with them. So I love that cake, <laughs> although that makes me hungry. I want some cake now. But I just think it's cool. I love this, and I think it was such a cool idea to include these uh, papers with the book. And I don't know if you can tell, let me lift it up, but you can kind of tell now that there's actually designs on both sides, on the front and the back. There are different designs for each paper, which is pretty awesome. And then let's go ahead and take a look real quick at the book itself, which it looks like it's pretty cool. Um, it's certainly uh, pretty easy reading. Um, it, there's not a ton of text, but it looks like what is there is inspiring and kind of helps you just play with it and, you know, try different things. Maybe try ideas that you've never had before and see how it turns out, which is something I like to do with art. Just try new things and if it turns out good, that's great. If it turns out horrible, you know, there's usually not that much loss. It's just a little bit of paper and time. And, you know, you learn even from your mistakes. I find that even when I create stuff and it really doesn't work out at all, that I learn a lot from it because it just, it teaches you, I guess, in a sense, kind of what doesn't work as well as what does work. So I just think it looks fun. And I like how there's like stuff on mythical creatures and stuff on using stuff other than paper. There's abstraction, inspiration, uh, using recycled materials, uh, just being fun and playful and not being too serious, mixing and matching, um, just all kinds of art inspiration. And I just think this will be a lot of fun to use. So I'm really excited about that. So I guess uh, that's pretty much kind of the overview of the books I wanted to give before I actually get a chance to sit down and read them and then review them. But I'm just, I'm so excited to read these and I wanted to share them with you guys. So if either of these look appealing to you, I would definitely recommend that you check them out on Amazon or I'm sure you could also probably order them from local bookstores if they have, you know, a place where you can order stuff. So... Both of these look great, and I'm excited to read them, and I guess that's it today. So I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you later. So bye!